Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you guys an awesome video editing program I found out about also known as a PowerSoft video editor. So this video editor is super modern and is super easy to use as well and allows you to create high quality content without any video editing experience but it also allows you to customize your video to any degree you may want and allow your product to become professional. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to be getting into a little bit of an in-depth live demonstration of this program a little bit later in this video, but I want to start off this video by going over some of the main features that this program has to offer. So number one, it allows you to create a virtually any eye-catching video by using this program and it allows you to transform your everyday videos and photos into a final creation that looks amazing. And as I mentioned earlier, you can make your own edits and make your videos look like magic and overall you can customize your videos to such a level of degree that you can make your videos one of a kind and your own. And that's what's awesome about this program. It is simple to use, but it also allows you to customize your videos and make them look amazing. And last but not least, it allows you to bring your personal creation to life. So if you're thinking about doing something like on a video project, make sure you guys check out this program and I'm sure that you'll be able to do this video. And last but not least, it has many different plugins so you can upload videos right to YouTube as well as other things and you can export very quickly using the rendering engine. So with that being said, and without further ado, let's go and hop right on in into AP PowerSoft and head over into their video editor and see what it's all about. So right now we are inside the program and I want to take a few minutes just to show you guys all the core features of this video editor as well as show you guys how you can get started. So as you guys can see right here, you have your few main tabs. So you have media, text, filters, overlays, and transitions. So we're going to start on off at media. So media is where all your media goes, of course. So it has pictures, videos, songs, and all that good stuff. So right here, I just imported two Grand Theft Auto online gameplays. And if you guys want to drag them into your timeline down here, you're going to just simply drag and it's going to go right in there. Now you do have your simple editing controls such as shortening the clip, moving it around, and if you double click, you also get some other options. Right now there is no audio options because this clip is currently muted because I don't record audio with gameplay because I usually don't have audio in the background. So from here you can change the contrast, saturation, brightness, hue, and all that good stuff and you can also reset it right from here. So there's all the basic settings that you may need while editing. Next down here is going to be text and right here you have a whole bunch of different text elements. Uh, let's bring in this one for example. So you can double click to try to uh, preview it. So let's just take this one for example. If you want to put it in, you're going to go like this. And right here you can just click on it and you're going to be able to edit the text just like that. So we're going to make it say make it say Jeff and you can also move it and of course you have all these different uh, transitions, animations, all these different settings including color, alignment, bold, italics and all that good stuff. So you can pretty much customize your video to a whole new level with this program. So we're going to click OK and this is how that text will look within this video. Very simple, nothing major and just something for a test of this video. Of course you can do any of these and I'm sure they're going to be adding more text effects in the future. Moving on on, let's head down to filters. So filters are also cool. So right here we can preview them. Uh, let's take let's take this uh, preview for example and let's drag it in and uh, let's remove the text just for example's sake here. And as you guys can see, that filter is currently within the gameplay. And of course you can move it around wherever you want. Let's take another one right now and see that. So as you can see, they look very cool. And of course, there's a huge variety and the same thing with text goes with filters. I'm sure they're going to be adding a ton more in the future so you guys can edit your videos to another new level. Let's move on to overlays and overlays are pretty much the same thing as filters, just they're not moving. So let's just take this one for example. Let's take two and let's take this one for example. So this is what they look like. So let's play the clip right here. So that's the first one. And that's the second one, of course you can move them around and of course you have a ton of different settings within those um, 
settings of the actual overlays and filters. So again, you have a ton of control over your video and this program is super easy to use, but it's also really customizable. Let's move on to transitions. So in order to take advantage of transitions, I need to cut my clip. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna click split and right here you have all your different transitions. Let's head over to, let's do this one for example. So in order to add a transition, you're just gonna go like that. You're gonna drag it in and we're gonna play the clip. And there you go, that is your transition. Very simple and it just fades into other clip. And of course you can change your uh, time for the transition and all that good stuff so you can customize your video to another new level. As I've been saying through the entire video, you can make your videos very, very good in this program with very little effort. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a live demonstration just to show you guys what the program actually looks like. So again, it has a nice design, very easy to use, and I didn't go into the in-depth features because I think it's gonna take too long because this program is super feature-packed. But again, it is very simple to use and those are the main core functions for your video making process. So yeah, that is gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the program name is called AP PowerSoft Video Editor. If you guys wanna check it out for your computer, make sure you guys click the link in the description down below. They actually have a very nice looking website where you guys can get yourself a free trial of this program for yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of AP PowerSoft Video Editor. And yeah, that is gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video.